I'm here in the old church of St. Thomas of Becket in Hepton Stall. In many ways, it's the jewel in the crown of the village. Sadly, it's, it's been identified by English heritage as being one of 33 Grade 1 and Grade 2 listed buildings that are currently very much under threat. But I'm here not to talk about that, but to introduce you to an old friend. You've probably been in this church many, many times before and never met her. In the notes that accompany the Longstaff collection of photographs, she's been called Old Mad Sal. Old she most certainly is. Sal, very possibly, but mad, I don't like to think so. This 1950s photo of her demonstrates how the weather is gradually wearing her away. But who is she? And why is she the only evident carving in this beautiful ruined church? Well, there are many people who believe that Sal's not human at all, but feline. Because, just like the mysterious and prolific Green Man, there was a popular tradition in the northeast of England in the 13th and 14th centuries of carving in churches a green cat. I've now been shown quite a lot of these cats, and I have to say that I think Sal is a particularly fine example. In the 1950s photo, you can see how there is a tapestry of foliage still visible around the head that doesn't exist now. And what does it for me altogether is the fact that the ears are at the top of the head and not at the side. So you're probably saying, why cats? Well, corn was very important to the medieval community. And the corn could be eaten by rodents. And the cats protected that corn from the rodents. And I've brought something here which I want to show you. I've had this corn maiden many years and I have to protect it from mice all the time. And I think the cat is a symbol no less vibrant than the green man himself. So how did Sal survive the soldiers of Oliver Cromwell's time? Well, Haptonstall people were a canny lot, and when the soldiers were dispatched in 1572 to smash the organs in churches all over Britain, they arrived here, and they found that there was no organ to smash. The local people had quietly spirited all the way, all the parts, and they were in a myriad of different secret places all over the village. So I suppose they probably said, Organ? Well, what organ? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, you've had a bit of a wasted journey. We don't have an organ here. Why don't you come in for a cup of tea? And then be on your way. Sorry you've had a bit of a wasted journey. I feel that Sal here is one of the most fascinating overlooked objects of interest in Haptonstall. Whatever she is, human or feline, she deserves to be protected from further erosion or even to be restored to her former glory. I'm pleading to English heritage to make old Sal a priority, and sooner rather than later. Coincidental, I'm sure, will be the strange discovery made in the loft above it in the 19th century. It was, it was just a mummified cat, as far as I know. Somewhere it, it must have been in the rafters. It got itself in, and whether it was trapped or whether it uh, just died, but I believe it was in a glass case in the cross, in for... But, and they called it uh, Eptonstall Lamb, I think, or something like that. I've read about it somewhere, and, uh, but I never, I never saw it.